when his power company sent him a $17,000 bill and suggested he switch companies to avoid more like it, Ty Williams found it impossible to make the change. It was useless because no one wanted to take on the burden of a new client when they're paying top dollar for power. Alicia Gray of Colleen showed us how her bill jumped from dozens to thousands of dollars within days. As we've shown you, power consumers and even power generators and distributors got stuck with big bills in the Texas deep freeze. The state of Texas is going to have to step in and make some things right. Uh, the things that it made wrong in the first place, it can undo. Dallas engineer and attorney Krista Castaneda calls the disaster and its fallout so big, we'll all get a little freezer burn paying for recovery from the deep freeze. There's been a call by many people for ERCOT to, to roll back the lifting of the ceiling that allowed this exorbitant amount to be charged. I think we need a much more um, comprehensive approach to how we manage our electric grid. <sighs> because right now, just about every Texan that can fog a mirror will get stuck paying for this crisis through higher rates and possibly higher taxes. It was a loop of failure that if we had a competent regulatory body sitting over this all would have been figured out. We would not have been in this hole. We need a comprehensive agency to take a look from A to Z and figure out what went wrong, what could go wrong, and look around the corners because our system's ever evolving, right? We're gonna have a different mix of energy sources 10 years from now. And somebody's gotta be managing all of our energy production and electric distribution and electric rates. Somebody needs to be looking for out for all Texans so that we don't have a failure like this again. She says starting out with a clean slate will give Texas its best chance of avoiding another utility disaster. No agency exists that has the scope of authority that I'm suggesting we need in order to prevent another failure like this. Because as Ty Williams will tell you, not only has the disaster sent companies into bankruptcy, it's breaking bank accounts of average Texans too. This can't happen to people. Dennis Turner, 25 News.